In this video, we will see how we can get input from the user by using the J option pane class. In the previous video, we've seen how we can get input from the user using the scanner class as well as the system out print line methods. So just before I start with this one, you can see that I created a new project called reading input using J option pane. There's the package com.example.read.joptionpane and then the class name read J option pane. And then in, as part of the class, you can see that I've got the main method there. Now in this example, I'm going to do it things a bit differently. I'm going to start off with asking for the name and the surname instead of asking for the first number and the second number. And so we'll do that part, that example just after this part. So now in the J option paint part, if I want to ask the user now, please enter your name and please enter your surname and I want to save that, I will do it as follows. I'm going to say J option paint there. So if you start typing J option paint, you'll see there it is. It's from the java.x swing package where you can get the class j option pane so you're going to i'm going to select that one as soon as i select it you can see that it adds an import statement at the top that makes that whole package available to me which includes the j option pane class now so i'm going to put the dot there and the method i want to use there is the show input dialog and you can see the show input dialog accepts text and that's basically what i want to ask the user so i'm going to ask the user please enter your name now what this will do i think i'm going to actually run this one to just make sure that we understand what this does now you can see now it pops up this window where it asks the user please enter your name so now the user can enter his name or whatever you ask the user to enter in he can choose cancel and he can also choose OK. At this stage, it won't do anything at all because we haven't done anything with this name. So let's carry on with the rest of the program. So that's what the J option pane input dialog is doing. It pops up that little pop up window that asks for please enter your name. So then the surname would again exactly the same thing. J option pane dot show input dialog. Again, we want to ask the users a question and we're going to ask him this time, please enter your surname. And now his surname will then be saved into surname. So the thing about the show input dialog method, it returns text. In Java, we refer to text as a string. So basically it returns a string back and that's why we can save it into a string variable. Okay, so now at this stage, let's just print out something. Now, instead of saying system out print line, I can just use J option pane again by saying J option pane dot show message dialog this time. So if you just want to show something to the user and not ask him a question where you can enter something, you just go with J option pane dot show message dialog. Now, the first argument must be null there. And uh, the second one is the text that you want to display to the user. So now this parent component that's null later on when we work with graphical user interface or when you can uh, dig into graphical user interface a bit, uh, the component there could be, for instance, a button on your user interface, which means that this message dialog will show above that button or on directly onto that button, basically. So by supplying null there, we, we essentially saying, this message was, must be displayed in the middle of the screen. So the message will be, and let's do the message as name plus a space plus surname. And then let's run this one quickly. Right, so it asks, please enter your name. I'm going to enter the name John. OK, please enter your surname, Rambo, OK, and then it shows me the message, John Rambo. Nice in a window type of interface. OK, so now let's try the other one. We've, we ask the user for two numbers and we work out the average. So it's going to be first number, again, and second number. Now let's do the same thing. We're going to say first number equals j option pane dot show input dialog and we're going to ask the user the question please enter the first number 
But now you can see that this one gives us a problem now because required as an integer because we declared first number as an integer this method is returning text and we cannot save text into an integer variable so there's there's some steps we need to follow now to convert whatever the user typed now to an integer so that we can save it back to this one so let's do this one a bit different i'm going to create a variable there for the string so I'm going to call it input to get the input from the user. Now, instead of saying first number there, I'm going to use input. And you can see now, no problem at all, because it returns a string here, and I'm saving it in a variable called input, which is of type string. No problem. But now, how can I get that first number? So now I'm going to say first number equals. So what I want to do now is to convert whatever was saved an in input now by the user to convert that to an integer so that I can save it into first number. So now how do you convert it? If you want to convert from a string to integer, you're going to use the integer class integer.passInt. So it's one of these pass methods. And I'm going to say integer.passInt. And I'm going to pass in the input that I got from the user as text. So the integer.passInt method will take the input, convert the input to an integer, and then save it into first number. Let's say that this one was actually declared as a double. Then integer.passInt should then be double.pass double. And then you indicate the string that you want to pass there. In this case, again, the input. Okay, so there's a, there's a few pass methods that you use with the specific class in order to convert from a string to that specific type. Right, so let's just change this one back again. I'm going to make that an integer again. And then this must be then integer.passInt. And this method will then convert the input to an integer and save it back. Right, so now we're going to do exactly the same thing for the second number. I'm going to use input again equals jOptionPane.showInputDialog again. And this time I'm going to ask the user please enter the second number okay so now we can enter the second number the second number is saved then as text into input which is declared as a text but now i want to have it as an integer so i'm going to say second number equals again integer dot pass int which will convert that input for me to an integer so the input is whatever the user typed it's saved as a string and that string we will take convert it to an integer and save it back into second number so now we've got the first number and we've got the second number now let's work out the average so it's going to be double average again equals and now again the first number plus the second number that answer divided by 2.0 to keep the decimal value, and that's the average. Now to display the average, we're going to do the exact same thing as we did there to display the name and the surname. So we're going to say jOptionPane dot show message dialog first argument null, which means we're going to have that message pop up in the middle of the screen. And the second one is what our message will be. What do we want to say? So we're going to say the average and then show whatever is stored in the average variable. So let's see if this one runs. Run this one quickly. It's going to ask us first for the name and the surname again. Let's say John again and Rambo and then now to ask us what's the first number let's put the 11 there what's the second number 20 and then the average will be 15.5 so now after these two videos you know, know now how to get input from the user and in this case it's important to convert whatever input you got from the user to convert it to the correct type so that you can pass it into uh, the first number and the second number in this case as a specific integer or then if you're using doubles as doubles or whatever type you're using. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.